He hasn't landed that uppercut yet. I don't know why it's not. You know what he should do? He should go for that right uppercut and then a shovel to the body. Oh, look at that beautiful shovel. We got to pop back. Wait. Watch that shovel hook to the body from Ponksery. I think it's right here, right? He sort of frames with both hands on the guard, sort of jamming the hands up into Tyson's head. And then look at that shovel hook. Right to the ribs. Right underneath the elbows. What a smart way to do it, right? Literally forcing the hands up to Tyson's head and then just digging underneath right afterwards. It perfectly landed. And then he goes for it again. Hey, welcome back. We're going to be watching a fight from One Friday Fights. You know, I always got to get into them. All right, we watched one... I think in our last video, we're going to watch this one in this video. I like it because it's live, it's updated, it's new, it's fresh, and it's uh, fighters that we can follow going forward. So, hey, it's kind of cool to learn about them. I uh, kind of didn't really watch much Muay Thai exclusively before, but now that 1FC is making it so easy, we all got to. We got to be on it. Uh, but anyways, we got Tyson Harrison versus Pong Suri. Yeah, Tyson Harrison versus Pong Suri. Uh, I don't know either one of them, but we got a young guy from Australia here, 22, six feet tall for 143. He's a lanky, lanky guy. And he's only 143 pounds out of 147. Did he just have like a crazy weight cut where he lost a little bit extra? Or is this guy just walking around at 143 pounds? I'd say based on his bicep right there, he might be. I mean, you can look at that collarbone too. His bones are popping. But uh, yeah, we got him. And then Pong Suri, 5'7", 147.6. He's right on the money. Cut his way perfectly. I'm curious what the Thai weight cut protocol is. You know, I wonder how close they actually fight to their actual weight. I don't know. I've never looked that up, but it's just like they must have a pretty, you know, in-depth way of cutting weight. You know, they always. I've never seen... Men, well, I've seen very few ties like gas gas where they got nothing left at the end of the fight so oh, regardless we're gonna watch oh we're still in slow-mo jesus let's cut ahead of it. it's gonna be so interesting to see how the tie makes up all that extra range with tyson Man, I've been to Bangkok. I wish I went to Lupini. I went to some other local fights, but it would have been so cool to see, you know, the real thing. I think somebody convinced me not to because it was too expensive and you could see other fights for literally free. But what's expensive in Thailand? It was like 15 bucks for a ticket. Another guy from Sanchai. I think in our last fight we had a guy from Sanchai's gym. 157 and 37. What would that percentage win percentage be? What's his KD? I think that's pretty good. Right? Yeah, that's it's well obviously it's really good, but I'm just trying to like calculate the percentage in my head. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I thought it said Sanchai again. So what? He looks a little thicker than I expected. I thought he was going to be super lanky. He looks pretty filled out. This guy definitely cuts weight. He's got beautiful hair. He's ready to rock. Sounds like an Australian ref. Let's see if he's not biased. Again, Western are always starting off really aggressive. The tide's going to start slow, but great counter for him off the bat. Right, Tyson's got to be using his range. I don't know why he's trying to close the distance right away. All right. Nice. Great boxing, though. Little loopy on the hooks. Oh, this is good. 
See, one of the common mistakes I think we see from Westerners when we're watching these fights is that the Westerners come out too hot. They lay out too many of their cards on the table. They use up too much energy. The ties usually stay very calm. They're always waiting for the first round. They're trying out singular techniques. They're seeing what's landing, right? And then when the second and third round comes around, they start like building on them and developing, right? Longer combinations and more counters and figuring out what type of strategy they want to bring to the fight. All right? Oh, six spin elbow, All right? You're not going to win on aggression against a tie. I think we, we've seen that almost every time. But maybe I'll get proof wrong. He lands that shot. It's just the ties are too consistent with their defenses. They don't open themselves up and they got tough heads. Man, he looks so much smaller. He got five inches on him. But Harrison's boxing is good. He's got great straights down the middle. He's not looping too much. I like that he's working in the uppercuts. It makes sense. His head's a little bit lower. Right, dig underneath it. All right. I think eventually he's going to land that uppercut, but he's just getting pounded with low kicks. He hasn't landed that uppercut yet. I don't know why it's not. You know what he should do? He should go for that right uppercut and then a shovel to the body. Oh, look at that beautiful shovel. We got to pop back. Wait. Watch that shovel hook to the body from Ponksuri. I think it's right here, right? He sort of frames with both hands on the guard, sort of jamming the hands up into Tyson's head. And then look at that shovel hook. Right to the ribs. Right underneath the elbows. What a smart way to do it, right? Literally forcing the hands up to Tyson's head and then just digging underneath right afterwards. It's perfectly landed. And then he goes for it again. The Westerners, they're just not fighting smart against these guys. Right, the Thais have too much experience. They've dealt with brawlers before. Right, it might be a bit unorthodox for them in the first round. So like always, they start a little bit slower. But when the second and third round come around, um, they get comfortable. They know what to do. All right, they fight smart. Now look who's throwing back uppercuts. Okay. Again, he found that shot. He's just going to go there again and again and again. There's not a lot of pop to it, but you know what? It's going to get Tyson to drop his hands, and he's going to be setting up something to the head right behind it. I can guarantee it. Spin elbow. Like, he's getting hit, but he's definitely dominating these exchanges. I'd say so. Oh, a little bit after the bell. Yo, what's up? What's up? Okay. This is not smart. Not smart fighting from Tyson. Not a fan of that strategy. Little jump elbow. Sick. Jump elbow. Look, he's already setting it up. All right. Intelligent decision when you're up against the fence like that. Ropes. All right. Ducking his head underneath. Right into the face. Swept out. Yep. Great straights down the middle. That was pretty cool. Yes, that's the shot that we slowed down. No. Every tie starts slow in the first round. Every tie. I don't think any fight we've seen so far, even when ties are fighting ties... Right, they all start slow. Every single one of them. He's got a you oh beautiful setup on the elbow there though from Tyson. Look at that. Touch right hand. Touching with the jab. Fold in on the elbow. Landed perfectly. Good setup. Overhand over top of the jab. That's what you gotta do with the long guys, then close the distance. But look at that combination. Two hooks, right? Overhand control and fold in on an elbow. Damn. Good dirty boxing. I like that. He didn't even try to engage in the clinch. He just kept his boxing going. He was already underneath them. Woo! Come on. 
The pressure's good. He's always got a little cut, though. Right over the eye. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. This is a fun fight. I love that Tyson's bringing it, but I wish he fought smarter. You're not going to win the fight this way. There's no way. There's absolutely no way unless you just so happen to knock him out. He's not going to gas. He's not going to give up in the brawl. He's going to be more dynamic than you. He's going to fight smarter than you on the inside like that. And look, you're ar he's already tired. He's gassed. Tyson's gassed. Look, he's moving like half speed compared to what he was in the first round. He's swinging into everything. Oh, my God. You think Pong's three is going to slow down? Hell no. Oh, fade away. Look at that. Ducking underneath. He's got good head movement. Reminds me of, uh, like, Lerd Silla. All right. Right underneath that spin back fist. That's risky. You don't know where that spin back fist is going to go. And uh, Tyson's got a lot of range. But, hey, he knows it. Boom. Right over top afterwards. Sick. Oh, my God, Tyson. You're so dumb. And he still got kicked in the head from two inches away. Uh, I wish Pong would protect himself a little bit more in the way that he gets inside. Because he, he's dominating in most of the ranges. But he's kind of taking some unnecessary punishment. Just kind of walking straight in. All right, when he set up that slip inside overhand, like he landed it perfectly. All right, just wait a little bit, and Tyson's going to throw, and then you can do the exact same thing again. All right, there's no reason not to. He's looking at his corner. What do I do? What do you do? Don't go straight into it. Oh, nice elbow. Right, let's see how he does it. Yes, overhand position folding into that elbow right on the side of the ear. Ponks, quite smart. Damn, they're just slugging. Damn. This is a rough, rough fight. There we go. There's some layers. I right, go back to the body. Doing it for the ties. It's a great fight. It's a fun fight. But Tyson, buddy, what was the strategy going in? I wonder what, like, what he was thinking. What his coaches told him. Hey, buddy, this is what you got to do. You got to walk straight into him. Just keep throwing straights down the pipe until you crash. And then what? That was super in tight round kick to the head. Didn't mean much though. Come on, Tyson. Use the jab, buddy. Keep some range. All right. Don't get caught up in the brawl. Don't don't even instigate a brawl. All right. Putting on a show. This guy loves it. Finally bringing some layers. Yes, using the jab, playing long. I pray to God that's what his coaches told him. They must have. Because he's got good straights. Don't get clinched up. No, keep your space. Use some footwork. Get out again. Yes. Play a reserved guard. Use your boxing. Yeah. Pong knows that he'll dominate on the inside. See, I like this version of Tyson. If he fought the entire fight like this, he would have done a lot better. I don't know why in the first and second round, he came out so hot. All right. I guess the first round is sort of an easy win for Westerners. 
All right, because the ties will be so slow, if you just bring a little bit extra pressure, you're pretty much guaranteed to win that first round. But, you know what, I, I'm actually in saying that. I think Pong kind of kicked his ass in the first round. <laughs> so, <laughs> the fuck am I talking about? Just getting fights mixed up in my head. Keep using the jab! Use the jab! Just touch him with it. Move. Pong's always got his mouth open, too, eh? The whole fight. He's like, Kind of makes him look insane. But he always has his mouth open. <laughs> look at it. It's like wide open. <laughs> like he's going to take a bite out of him. <laughs> Not to laugh. But why does he got his mouth so wide open? I get if it, like he got a bit of a deviated septum. You can't breathe through your nose that well. But <laughs> that's, that's excessive. The entire time his mouth is wide open. That was definitely going to be the thumbnail. It's pretty insane looking. Damn. How red in the face he is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wish we got the angle of him fucking chirping back there. Yeah. You're about to be 23 and 10, buddy. Fifty percent win. Win percentage. Nice. Wow. Right to the crowd. What a great fight. Really enjoyed the first and second round. Third round, super fun. You're just into the brawl. Great fight from both of them. Tyson, I just wish he fought a little bit smarter, right? I didn't understand that game plan at all. It's like they've never watched Ty's fight before. I get, like, you're on that stage, it's, like, hard not to just, like, bring the pressure and kind of go crazy and want to kill them, but... No, let's watch this. I don't want to miss any of the slow-mo stuff. Great shovel hook. Good knee to the body there. Yeah. Why is his mouth always open? Man, great fight, though. Super fun to watch. One Friday fights. If you ain't watching it, you don't like martial arts. You gotta watch that. Australia. Yeah. Not a chance, Tyson. Nice. He's a bit of a showman. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Pong Suri. I want to pay attention to a couple of his next fights. He's fun to watch. He's a good time. Yeah, look at that. Always respect out of the ties. They love this shit. Uh, super fun fight again, right? We always got to keep coming back to these, keep watching these. Hey, like the video. Again, thank you so much for a 1,000 subscribers. Super cool. I love doing this, so I appreciate anybody that's willing to watch it with me. Uh, subscribe to the channel. All right, let's keep that going up, up, up. And uh, like the video if you enjoy my commentary and breakdowns. Um, but, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.